This is a quick guide for Elemental Shaman in patch 11.0.2 for the War Within Season 1 launch. So we're starting off here with the Raid build. I'm going to show both Raid and Mythic Plus in here. And for raiding, we are going with Farseer Hero Talents. They just make it a lot easier on single target, um, where Stormbringer will be better in Mythic Plus with multi-target. Primordial Wave calls an ancestor to your side. Whenever you cast a healing or damaging spell, they're going to cast a similar spell. So it's duplicating what we're doing. And then the kind of the, the bottom talent is Ancestral Swiftness, where the next damaging spell is instant, costs no mana, and deals 10% increased damage and healing. This is basically replacing our Nature Swiftness, um, and it will call an ancestor to our side. So before we go into combat, we can cast Storm Elemental and um, Stormkeeper. Stormkeeper is where we charge ourselves with lightning, causing our next two lightning bolts to do loads more damage and cause our next two lightning bolts to be instant cast and trigger an elemental overload on every target. We're also going to get Storm Elemental, where we call for Storm Elemental to do damage for us. Each time we cast lightning bolt, the next uh, cast time of lightning bolt will be reduced up to 10 times. Once we've done that, as we go into combat, we're then going to immediately cast Primordial Wave. And you can see here, it's going to call an Ancestor to our side. Blast your target with Primordial Wave, dealing damage and applying Flame Shock. Always keep Flame Shock up on your targets. You should be able to do this fine with just Primordial Wave. Your next Lava Burst will also hit all targets affected by your Flame Shock for half the amount of normal damage. It's also, perfect timing, going to trigger a Lava Surge here where it's instant, and that is from your Primordial Wave as well. Whenever you see it light up on your Lava Burst, use that. That's a really good, um, it's a really good thing. It's going to be instant. After that, use Ancestral Swiftness. Again, your next damaging spell is instant and doesn't cost any mana and does more damage. Whenever you get an Elemental Blast, when you've built up enough element, uh, Maelstrom, use it. And then apart from that, we're going to use Lightning Bolt as a filler. And this is assuming, of course, that in Raid we are doing mostly single target. It's actually a pretty simple rotation that we are going to be doing for raiding um, in the War Within. Moving on to um, Mythic Plus, you can see a few talents are changing. Specifically, Stormbringer is the new hero talent we're going into here, where every 300 Maelstrom spent with is going to turn your next Lightning Bolt into Tempest, instead doing a lot more damage. And the bottom one is the most important, that's why I'm showing them to you. Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning have a chance to strike your target for nature damage. Every three times this occurs, your next Lightning Bolt is replaced by Tempest as well. So we're going to be using Tempest quite a lot whenever this happens. So we are, of course, mainly focusing on AoE here. Again, use your Stormkeeper and Storm Elemental, pretty much the same as before. Same thing with Primordial Wave, but then use this, which we've got in the Mythic, ta Mythic Plus talent tree, Liquid Magma Totem. It basically just spews out loads of damage, as you can see here. Again, still using our Lava Burst when it's free. And you can see we can use our Earth Shock after that on single target, or use Earthquake on multi-target, because again, it's Mythic Plus. When we see any procs from Chain Lightning, use it again on multi-target, still using Lightning Bolt on single target, and using Tempest whenever it is turned into a Tempest rather than Chain or Lightning Bolt. Um, and that's pretty much it for the rotation here. It is actually quite a simple rotation this season. Again, keep up Primordial Wave and therefore Flame Shock at all times. Keep your Liquid Magma Totem on cooldown at all times, keeping this up doing massive AoE damage. And use your Earthquake to spend your Maelstrom, which is your resource that you're going to be building up as an Elemental Shaman. You can still use Nature Swiftness to get instant cast spells out. Um, and then again, really, Chain Lightning is the main spell that we're going to be using um, all of the time in this rotation. If you would like a full and complete, much longer length rotation guide going through stat priorities and set bonuses and hero talents in you know minute detail etc check the pinned comment on this video that will take you to my other channel which is the elemental full guide i've done for mythic plus and raiding for the war within season 1 11.0.2 this is the quick guide over there will be the um full in depth guide this channel is all about quick guides you see um i don't just do wow over here either if you would like to see any other specs in quick guides then click the playlist you now see as i have done every single spec pve and pvp will be done for the war within for you and if you would like to support the channel get my lvi profiles that aren't shown here or 
get loads of macros that I'm putting together to help you make your life easier in The War Within, then you can join my Patreon, also linked in the description.